Hey Aries, today we're doing your love read. This is for anyone, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the sign of Aries. And as always, each one of Aries will take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Aries, um, if you guys are interested in a personal read, I am still taking personal reads. So my email is in the description box below. Um, I shuffle these cards, I mean, and lately the bottom of the deck usually speaks to the meditation. So here we have it's safe for you to love. And I really feel that a lot of you are in a position of opening yourself up to a connection. I did feel good energy. So a lot of you have, um, are experiencing results of healing paths, although I feel it's still a journey, but you're, you're all in this position of building new connections, meeting, um, good soulmates, and it really goes in direct correlation to that healing and so there i do still as always there are always going to be triggers in these experiences because this spirit has a way of always testing our healing right and our our belief system and making us better souls so let's see what we've got here for you aries in terms of love what can we do? guidance for love around love surrounding love well, we know finance and career. I'm not going to take these cards, but you guys have been focusing a lot on your your um, 3D life. So I feel there's um, a stabilization that's happening with that. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to take these clearly. I think you're the first fire sign, so I can already tell based on the energy that fire signs are going to be really heavy for me this week. So let your friends help you. A lot of you, um, to me, yeah, love yourself first. A lot of you may be sharing your stories or what you're feeling here. I feel with people, um, maybe in a place of speaking more. Here we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. To me, this this speaks of the healing that's taken place. Codependency. This is this has come up for some time. I think for a lot of you who are meeting new soulmates here, Aries. Are being triggered in some ways and this again don't take this too harshly so, you know this is where again the this our our higher soul tests our our ability to resurrect and I love it how Jordan Peterson puts it always how we dive deep in the chaotic of the underworld which is literally our soul and how deep um, we can dive into despair and I feel this is part of that chaotic underworld where we revisit these emotions and then we have to learn our many resurrections of life on how to come out of these emotions and really um, heal ourselves. And for a lot of you, this let your friends help you is and love yourself first is still kind of like finding finding those who you can trust to share these emotions. Um so there's a lot of learning that's going to take place here we have make and the effort honeymoon six of swords energy let go of control issues and playfulness so this is kind of the energy you have to embark in i feel this is kind of loosen up your energy i love this card playfulness um and i to me the most important thing is what it says normally i don't have to read the cards because the energies always speak of um i go intuitively but to me, this message of this card usually is important. And um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And it doesn't have to be just to recapture romance. It's to recapture um, joy, playfulness, playful in our spirit. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. There's a, there's a rejuvenation. And when we're in control of that, therefore, we're not in play. Oh my God, I'm having so many interruptions. What is going on? Um, I'm gonna let that slide. If they ring again, then I'll answer. But let's keep going here, Aries. Oh, I get a phone call. Give me a second, Aries. I can't pause this because I don't have the edit is. Aries, I'm 
really can't pause these videos because I don't want to split the videos and I don't have my editing app at the moment working for some reason. But anyways, oh God, I, I, I'm just, I even started the videos late. I am going through so much to getting these readings done today and it was a hard start and then now I'm getting these interruptions. So let's see, what is our guidance for Aries? Okay, so there you go. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Here we go with the strength card, power. We have patience, temperance, right? So this is going to require some patience. Um, we have recognition and reward here. Three of Pentacles, movement, choices, and decision. We've got wisdom and triumph and success, which is the Ace of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, what I'm getting from this movement, choices, and decision is allowing yourself to work through what you're feeling. I'm also getting this make the effort where um, there are fears in terms of disrupting your 3D life or the change or... Um, um, yeah, I think I, I feel this energy of it disrupting your life. Some of you have been alone for some time. So even remember this three of pentacles, the sun. Yeah, so try to be optimistic about this new new energy here. The sun, this is also Leo energy here. Again, you guys could be dealing with the Leo Taurus, Leo again with the strength card, a Sagittarius. So strong fire in your reading today, Aries. You've got new love here with the Knight of Cups, and then we've got Temperance showing up again. So this is definitely someone who's very committed, someone you can work with. Three of Pentacles is working together. This is definitely something you can work with. So the make the effort is definitely here. Make the effort. Um, to me, honeymoon, a lot of you holidays are coming up. So maybe you're in preparation. Holidays will be a good time. You guys are going to be very much in getting to getting to know each other. Give me more on this Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so definitely Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, and Ace of Wands. And Six of Swords, there we go. So this to me is you have to decide for yourself. And I think this is going to happen with time because Page of Swords sometimes is when we're spying, we're investigating. But this is kind of an energy of observing as well. And we have Six of Cups here. For some of you, this could be a reconciliation um but i actually don't feel that for a lot of you i feel this is just seeing things and still being in a position of comparing it to the past with the six of cups we're gonna pull a let's see give me more on the six of cups clarifier for the six of cups yeah so king of cups you know a lot of you are in this position of figuring out your emotions i think it's also um putting you in a very vulnerable place. Six of Cups can also mean past life relationship. For some of you, this person could trigger emotions from the past, but also be a person of the past life relationship. So someone who you feel a soul, soul tie with. It could be a water sign. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Give me more on this Taurus energy. Why wisdom of the Hierophant? Beautiful. So definitely an equal, an equal give and take here. This is someone who's going to bring stability, tradition, loyalty, um, a lot of stability. So a lot of you are really going to be making the effort towards a connection here and creating something very solid and very, um, very stable. Give me more of this four of wands. You're going to feel more reciprocated around this four of wands and it's with time right so time is going to show you yes justice so things will balance themselves out we got justice and two of pentacles so this is this is going to be with time invested and over time there goes that six of cup again over time this is to me the codependent energy that we're seeing here where we'll we're still comparing but as time passes you're going to be come more balanced within yourself and see that this is really something you could invest in. Give me more of the Six of Pentacles. 
Okay, Knight of Swords. So, and then there goes the Six of Pentacles again with the Ace of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. So this is obviously something solid. For some of you, this may be moving quickly. And the fears of how quick it is makes you trigger some, will put you in this control and will make you feel like um, you want to you, you wanna control the speed of it. Or maybe it feels like it's not real. Um, but I'm hearing just continue, obviously, because we it's confirming again with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, the devil's below that, but that to me has to do, and then there was a Hierophant again. So that has to do with fears of the speed and thinking that maybe this person is going to fool you or something to that nature. Give me more of this Ace of Swords. So take definitely take steps, Page of Pentacles and the Magician. Allow time and know that you've learned lesson. Magician is also our lessons, but this means progress. And this means you guys are going to really create something that's worthwhile. This is probably also a shared energy with the Ace of Swords. That means you both been through betrayal. Ace of Swords have to do with breakthroughs and like challenging pasts. And I think you both have a spirit of creating something new and making it different this time around and you're both very invested in what that's going to be like so that's it all positive here give me more on the blockages for aries deceit this person lied before and will again it's a blockage there you go guys this is again having to do with the past and this this is is a codependency codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life some of you are addicted to the mindset of something happening that's why there's control when we have energies of control that means we fear that there's an energy of fear so a lot of you fear of being lied to of being like deceived and that's why the speed of it some of you feel like oh maybe things are going too fast there's there's something that's triggering but that's also why it needs healing so let's see what your guidance is. So yes, education. This is a good time to educate yourself more in what you want to achieve in life. Studying now puts you into the right direction of your life's purpose. Preparation is key. And I feel a lot of you have been doing those improvements. That's why we saw finance and career. So a lot of you, to me, this is a message about also learning yourself, learning about relationships. Maybe you guys are, as you've balance your life out your i mean oh my god and this card says learning so i swear to god i didn't even notice that i'm just speaking guys because you guys i know i have to i have to it's hard to do readings because so much information comes up intuitively and in your emotions that it's sometimes it makes you sp to makes you speak so fast that you can't really express everything that you're feeling so yes this is a time of learning time to reflect on your life lessons what you have been through is coming to perspective new ways of looking at things are now being shown and there is a lot to relearn here and some of you i feel are learning more too about relationships and yourself and how to get through this next stage of making the effort towards new love and a new person here so let's pull one more guidance for you play wow so much about play this is what i'm saying aries this is literally about your spirit so give yourself permission to have fun raise your vibration by simply experiencing the joys of life this is what i mean to recapture romance it's not just romance it's to recapture joy and spirit is confirming two times here this is about you lightening up your energy and kind of having more of a playful heart um to be able to experience the, the joy of what they're trying to bless you with. So um, everything has a learning lesson. You're again, that's why educating learning, you're learning about yourself. So this is this connection to me is going to improve yourself and your relationship with yourself, which automatically improves your relationship with this new person. So um, I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe, click that bell button if you enjoy my frequency.